This is Ken Pyle with VOD TV. We're at Roper's Health St. Francis in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. You guys are doing a really innovative thing here. And we'll get to that in a moment. But first, tell us a little bit about your facility. I'm Brenda Myers. I am the administrator here. Um, we have a full service 24 seven facility that we, uh, we have an emergency room and diagnostics and medical office building here. And it's a very nice facility, but you have uh, sometimes people coming in um, that have issues that you can't deal with. Correct. We absolutely have some um, psychiatric patients that come through that we have, um, have at times we don't have available physicians to speak with them. And so we actually have a program now that we are piloting to uh, talk with those patients so that we can get them immediate care. And this was something just this, this week, the FCC issued a report on uh, broadband and health. And so what we're looking at, I guess, key to this is having a broadband connection. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit, uh, Susan, uh, Susan Schiller, uh, registered nurse here, uh, you've been using this system. So why don't you describe it a little bit and how you're using it to connect uh, patients? Well, if we have a patient that comes in that has a problem with um, any type of psychiatric problem, if they don't have a physician, or if we, they do have a physician, what we normally do is we can telepsych them. We go through DHEC, we locate a physician who's on call at that time, and they will telepsych this patient through this television, um, and they will admit them, um, give them instructions on how we can take care of this patient as far as if we have the medications here to administer them until we can admit them to a facility, find a bed at another area like MUSC or um, Roper St. Francis downtown to behavior med. And this is a, a serious issue. I mean, you've had patients before you could do this. You've had patients stay here for a long time, right? Absolutely. Yes, yes. Until we could have someone come in and evaluate. We have no psychiatrists here on, on duty at all here at this facility. So this has been a benefit here because we can have a, um, a psychiatrist on call at all times, even in the middle of the night, that these patients can be um, evaluated and admitted to a facility during the night instead of waiting days at a time or the next day. And I would imagine having patients here, I mean, it, you uh, quite often are, are very crowded as it is, but having patients here not only doesn't impact the quality of the healthcare, but it's got to be costly too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, every day that they're here, um, adds up as, as far as their health care expenses go and especially when we you know we've got staffing that just are not really equipped to handle psychiatric patients we actually have to put a security officer on site with that particular patient so that we make sure that everything is is stayed maintained safely in the facility so there's a lot of extra expense when we have someone like that in the facility so we've gone from having to keep someone here from couple of weeks to really down to a few hours a lot of times but we typically rarely keep anybody overnight anymore so it's, it's speeded up the process of getting their health care to them much faster and from just a perspective of how it got started i think uh there's a lot of local feel to it and you were telling me about your board members uh absolutely absolutely it was just been wonderful to have the community support this um we had mental health come together with home telephones owner uh, mr helmley came over and uh, we all kind of got that together figured out a way that we could connect even away from the community mm -hmm. and find a way to, uh, to help these patients take care of, of get, getting them that health care faster, which is what it's all about. We wanted to really make sure that they were getting the quickest and best care that they could. Even if we couldn't provide that, we wanted to find a way to get that care to them. Brenda, thank you very much for opening the facility well, to we us. We appreciate you guys coming and looking at it. We're always happy to show off our newest technology and what we do to take care of our folks. So thank you for coming. Thanks. Well, here I am. 